my belly has exploded this week. I am not like huge, huge. I'm not, you know, that pregnant, but I'm definitely not flat anymore. <laughs> How's it going? So today I am 11 weeks pregnant and things are really starting to look up. I have no nausea except when I drink something on an empty stomach or if I take my prenatal. Um, I have a new prenatal that I bought like a week or two ago, something like that. Oh no, a week ago. I bought it a week ago. Anytime that I take it, I get really, really sick. Um, I mean, it passes, so I just, you know, suffer. And I bought these prenatals on sale. They were buy one, get one. So I got four months worth of pills for like 13 bucks so I don't want to waste them but they make me really sick and that's not like fun but four months worth for $13 <laughs> I don't want to just throw them out sleep is starting to get a little bit better not what it was before pregnancy but not you know as bad as it was a couple weeks ago I still fall asleep somewhere around two o'clock it does not matter how tired I am or am not I always fall asleep somewhere around two and now my body wants to wake me up around 7 seven thirty, and then I'm up down until 9 or 9 30 which I mean it's much better than a few weeks ago where I was asleep by two and then like up at four. <laughs> that was not fun. But um, being up down and up down and sleep isn't, you know, like the best. But it's something. I only get heartburn if I eat something spicy so I don't eat a whole lot of spicy stuff. I try to avoid that. But that's about the only time that I get heartburn. The worst symptom of the week though has been sciatic pain. It's starting to rear its ugly head and I'm not a fan. Um, it hurts the worst. I wish I could like stand up and show you, but I don't have the room. Uh, but it's like in my butt area, and that's where it hurts the most if I walk too long. It really, it really hurts. In my really low back, that's where it's starting to hurt. So I try really hard to correct my posture when I walk, but it feels weird. It feels like you're thrusting your pelvis forward, and that's just, it feels funny. But I try to do that anyway because it relieves my lower back and it makes my sciatic not feel so bad. I'm really not looking forward to being 30 plus weeks and having sciatic pain because that's what I had with Kinley and it was miserable. <laughs> but right now I'm just trying to like correct it with posture and that kind of thing. Still no crazy pregnancy fatigue. I still haven't gotten that. Uh, I don't think I ever will because I'm like three weeks away from being in the second trimester and I don't get it after that. So. No, no pregnancy fatigue. As far as weight gain, I haven't gained anything in the past couple of weeks. I'm still at 154, thank heaven. Um, I'm just happy I'm not gaining a pound every week like I was. Uh, but I'm still at 154, but I'm glad that I'm maintaining my weight, at least for now. Cravings of the past couple of weeks, um, I'm not craving pineapple anymore, but now I'm craving like salt and vinegar chips. That sounds really good right now. I would, I could go for that. Or Funyuns. Funyun craving is back and I would really love Funyuns. Basically salty chips. That's <laughs> basically what my body wants right now. I have an OB appointment this week, so I will tell you guys at the next pregnancy vlog how that went and, you know, what's going on. My OB wants to do genetic testing, and she's trying to get my insurance to approve it and all that fun jazz. Um, I, and if that happens, if the genetic testing um, happens, then we'll know the gender of the baby in like 7 to 10-ish days after the testing's done. But you guys still won't know until like the end of September-ish because I really, really, really want to do this gender reveal really badly and I'm just going to have to keep my mouth shut until then. I'm really sorry. I love you guys. I do. But <laughs> I really want to do this gender reveal. I have a heart Doppler. I bought one when I was pregnant with Kenley and I still have it. Um, so Dev and I are going to try to hear baby's heartbeat sometime this week. I don't know when, but at some point we're going to try to hear baby's heartbeat. I will video it. I will upload it. I just don't know when this week, but it is coming up. So be looking for that. I'm really thinking about having a home birth with this baby. Um, I've thought about it and I've looked it up and I, I mean I did a ton of research when I was pregnant with Kenley. We just weren't in a place to afford a midwife because insurance covers hospitals but insurance won't cover midwives. So, which sucks. So I'm thinking about doing a home birth anyway. 
I'm, I'm considering it. As long as baby's okay and as long as baby's healthy and um, by 36 weeks, if everything is checked out and everything's good, I'm probably going to have baby at home. Um, my body has babies really easy. Like I have pretty easy labors, easy deliveries. I've never hemorrhaged. I've never had anything weird. I mean, nothing out of the ordinary has ever happened when I've been in labor. And besides that, I kind of have a little bit of panic going back to the hospital because McKinley's birth wasn't exactly, how, how do I put this nicely, <laughs> ideal. I went in on the 10th and because I had a lot of bloody show that morning and I was like, oh, okay, this might be the day. And I was having on and off contractions, but they weren't consistent. So I went in anyway and they held me for 24 hours trying to make my body go into labor on its own. They broke my water and I bounced on my birth ball and all that stuff. And my OB finally said, look, I'm going to have to start you on Pitocin. And I was like, if you're going to start me on that, you have to get me an epidural because Pitocin's awful. It is terrible. It makes contractions harder and longer and stronger and I can't handle that. So <laughs> you're going to have to get me an epidural. So she got me one, but she didn't give me one on a drip. She gave it to me in pushes, which was awful because at nine and a half, my epidural wore off and I had none when I gave birth to Kinley. And I couldn't feel my belly contract, but I felt every single bit of her coming out. And I do mean every single bit. And it was awful because I couldn't help myself. I was just laying there on a bed trying to push without feeling my contractions. And I felt the ring of fire. I felt all that. So I really kind of scared to have a repeat. And if, if my body has easy labors anyway, why not just have baby at home? And I'm really thinking about going that route. I haven't made any final decisions. I will tell you guys later on when I get further down the line, but I'm really thinking that that's where I want to go. Um, I'm really lucky that Devin has my back on all of it. He's like, hey, whatever you want to do, I'll support it. It's your body anyway. I was like, thank you. So um, I'm very lucky to have his support in all of it. In two weeks, I'm going to do some home gender tests. So comment down below. Give me all of your home gender tests that you want me to do. I will do as many of them as you all comment. So if I only get like a couple of comments to do only two tests, I'm only going to do those two. But if I have like a bunch of comments giving me a whole bunch of different ideas, I'm going to do all of them. So the more you guys comment, the more I will do. And I will do that video in about two weeks because I want to give you guys enough time to think of ideas or think of uh, tests that you all want me to do, that kind of thing. So I will give you a reminder next week. And then after that, I will film the video. So make sure you comment down below. Okay, now I'm going to show you my belly. My belly has exploded this week. I am not like huge, huge. I'm not, you know, that pregnant, but I'm definitely not flat anymore. <laughs> you see what I mean by my belly is exploded? Like, I'm not flat anymore. Uh, but I mean, this is not anywhere close to what I will look like when I'm due. My belly probably won't change much within the next like four-ish, something like that weeks. But I am showing sooner than I did with Carly. Uh, Kimley, I started showing at about 12, but then again I was overweight. So you kind of have to play that into factor. My belly popped at like 10 weeks and two days, I think it was. When I wake up in the morning, I can feel baby bump and I can uh, see the little bump. Um, at the bottom of my belly right here when I first wake up in the morning. Um, that I didn't feel until I was about 15 weeks with both girls, so that's kind of funny. <laughs> but, I mean, hi, baby. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you later this week when we hear baby's heartbeat for the first time. Hopefully I will see you before that, though, because Dev and I are right now looking at possibly buying a new car. Well, not a new, new car, but a new car for us. And hopefully, if everything goes well, and if everything goes like we hope it will, I will show you guys our new car. I will see you guys soon. Bye.